Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks here today again, as always, in this channel. So, as always, let's get right into it. Yet another Amazon product unboxing review. And again, this one is also another product offered by the Telesport company on Amazon. Today's product unboxing and overview is going to be of the Paxis 100 watt solar generator. So of course here's the product box. Again, as always been nicely packaged, or rather pre-packaged. Here you can see the front end of the box says support for solar panel charging, home or outdoors backup power, has smart controllers, it's a high capacity lithium battery. This is rated at 40,800 mAh milliamp hour which translates to roughly almost 41 amp hours of runtime. This is rated 100 watts, I believe. I think it can peak up to 150. I'm not sure if that's surge or just actual peak. And it also has a built-in LED light panel, which is a good little function. Um, it also functions as with a power bank for your mobile devices, as well as has the built-in LED control panel, which tells you your battery level as well as whatever uh, outputs you're using. Let's get right into it and immediately you have the user manual. As I stated, it's 40,800 mAh, which translates to roughly 150 watt hours. Quickly go over the specifications of the user manual guide. Output 5 volts, 3.5 amp DC, 12 volt, 15 amp maximum. DC wattage max 9 to 12 to 12.6 volts 15 amps 180 watt max output the AC output 100 watt dual modified wave input I'm sorry wave output with two versions 220 to 110 built according to different nations it says it has an ultra bright LED light LED control panel which is also backlit which is really nice 500 plus times life cycle which is pretty to be pretty much expected as of almost any lithium battery pack or rechargeable battery pack for that matter capacity like I stated is uh, almost 41 amp hours I'll say roughly uh, 40.8 uh, input recharging is uses 15 volts at 2 amps I have the larger model which utilizes uh, 15 volts at 4 amps on uh, your DC recharger for your uh, home recharger that is fully charged time DC 15 volts says seven to eight hours and this also includes the power station car charger manual power adapter and your cigarette lighter adapter this also does have a UPS backup function which is very useful to showcase a little bit of the product manual so let's go ahead and start with the unboxing or rather unpackaging here's a nice felt feeling foam cushion on top very nice so ensure a nice safe shipping is insured accessories box most likely with charger and cable accessories and the other half foam padding for the product protection for shipping and here is the actual product. This is the Paxis solar generator, rated at uh, 100 watt. That's what it's being marketed as. So here we have the Paxis solar generator. Power on buttons and DC output mode by default. different light power modes so there's two power modes there's a low power output and there's a high power it's not extremely bright but I'm hoping it will be very efficient if you want to run that for a decent period of time for whatever reason go ahead and switch to AC output DC I'm not entirely certain how to run the UPS function According to the manual, the uh, UPS function, you need to have the product uh, in, plugged into the charger, and you can use the UPS function then, so I will go ahead and cover that shortly. 
But first, I'll go over the outputs. You have two AC outputs, one without ground and one that's universal. With a three prong, so it has a ground. So anything basically extension cord uh, typed will fit into there, as well as something like a small uh, two prong phone charger. And on the other side, we have your charging input or your solar input, whatever you want to use, uh, either AC from your home or your solar or your car charger. And you have your 9 to 12 volt outputs as well as your two USB outputs for charging your mobile devices. This is fairly heavy, but not very bad at all. It's a very nice lithium ion battery in here. With that being said, let me go on the bottom, look at the specifications. It says portable solar generator, lithium polymer. As I stated before, all the specifications for the outputs. I'm going to head and unbox the charging and cable accessories. As I said, here's the home wall charger adapter. It's 15 volt output, 2000 milliamps, so 2 amps, 15 volts. This does not seem to have a power indicator light on it, but luckily, obviously, the unit itself will tell you it's charging and it's charge level. And we have the 5.5 millimeter adapter for the cigarette output, for your car chargers, and whatever other types of accessories you have that you need might need plugged into there. And you also have a car charger adapter. Um, you can also use these to plug into here as well to use for an output. Uh, this is not a 5.5 millimeter, I think it's a 3.5 millimeter uh, output tip on this uh, DC 12 volt adapter. This does have a power indicator light on it, however, so if this is plugged in uh, to your power supply, the power light will be on. These power supplies also, however, uh, failed to mention they always output DC so there's no power function to turn it on or off it's basically a, a UPS line that's constantly being output power as long as your supply is charged of course is up YouTube doing some further testing and I have the watt meter hooked up in line for the source as load basically or source and I have my power inverter watt meter hooked up. Okay, as you can see, it's drawing about 3 watts at idle because I have the power inverter plugged in. You see the power indicator is on. This is a 12 volt to 110 with two USB outputs. And like I said, at idle it's drawing about 3 watts. Batteries stabilize around 12.07, 12.08 volts. Drawing 0 0.22, 23 amps. So I'm running on DC output. I have a fan plugged in there. It's a 110 volt fan, uh, oscillating floor fan at idle with it just being plugged in. Pull it up to about 7 watts at idle. Or 0 0.6 amps at 12.01 volts. The lowest setting, 56.8, 57 watts, 58 watts, 57, 56, 55. And even on the highest setting, still pulling less than 60 watts, about 55 to 58 watts peak. This is a 150 watt AC inverter. First real test, also a demonstration for this, the Volt Cube. It's got a very, very tiny and very quiet, yet efficient brushless fan on the inside. I believe it is a brushless fan, most likely. And this is the Tenergy, I guess Tenergy. This is uh, actually, I believe, mostly meant for RC cars and lipos, but this works from uh, 6 to, I believe, 60 volts uh, and up to 150 amps. So, very cool. This is going to be for monitoring solar energy uh, for charging for circuitry, 
as well as testing loads of how many watts and calculating off the watt hours and all that good stuff. And here I have the 18 inch 25 watt black light fluorescent tube style and the USB utilized for charging is the Note 3 on the 2.1 amp 5 volt USB output rail. Here's the readout on the watt meter so you guys can get an accurate idea of the power and capacity of these battery banks. This is the latest one, the Paxis. As you can see the LED screen is indicating the battery is still fully charged or has a full battery level 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 percent. The flashlight or light function on here is also pretty good. I like that. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before but it's not super super bright but it's not bad either. It's a good little night light style brightness on it. I've been consistently running this for probably close to four and a half hours or so now I would say. The 150 watt inverter. And here we can see the readout. The uh, voltage has been steadily dropping over time. 62.8 watt hours, 5.447 amp hours drawn. And this is running the power inverter, running a USB 2.1 amp output uh, for the charger as well as the AC 110 output to the 25 watt 18 inch fluorescent black light. So as you can see now at 80% battery life or battery level there's a 5 levels at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 so there's a 20, 40, 60, 80% remaining 63.1 watt hours, 63.2 watt hours. So I've been running consistently for four, four and a half hours or so now, and 80% battery life left. So, hope you enjoyed this video. A little test demonstration for the Paxis 100 watt solar generator and the N line Volt Cube AC inverter. AC DC inverter, or DC to AC rather, and the Tenergy uh, watt meter, which also gives you all the readout of things, eight different types of uh, electrical data amp hours, watt hours, maximum watts, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more upcoming updates and tests.